Hi there, Tapas Fleming here today. I'm gonna to tell you what you could do with TAT to have a more open heart and to make it easier to feel and connect with your heart. I know because I just did this recently, I felt like my heart just wasn't soft, as soft as I felt like I wanted it to be and it was hard. I felt like I'm just not connecting enough with people in a way that I want to with my heart. So anyway, I just did TAT and this is what you can do about whatever it is, this is what goes in the pot, whatever it is that has made it so that I'm not feeling with my heart. I'm not connecting with my heart. And do the whole, all the steps of TAT about that. So then I did it again a couple times, just whatever it is that's here. So I'm not really connecting with my heart and feeling with my heart. So I wasn't really sure if things had changed. And that's how it is sometimes with TAT. You do it and you go, did anything change? I don't know. But um, I noticed that, <laughs> that uh, when people were telling me things, Sometimes I felt more sad and I would cry easily. And sometimes I felt more um, love. And recently I went to a family gathering and it was so easy for me to talk to everybody and feel more connected with them with my heart and my feelings. Before that, I was kind of shy and it was hard for me to to allow whatever I was thinking or feeling to arrive at my mouth and say it. By the time it arrived, like the conversation had gone on way several sentences before. And now things were just flowing out. So that's what happened for me. And I'm hoping if you're interested in that for yourself, that you'll give it a try. And that'll happen for you too. And you'll feel happier and more connected like I really have. So thanks for listening and see you next time.